So what, first of all, what do you mean by traditional application security? And, uh, and uh, what, I guess, what does keeping up mean in, in this context? Is it fixing all the vulnerabilities? Is it just finding the ones that you actually need to focus on? How, how do you look at it? Yeah, to me, I would describe it as both like a technical and a cultural problem. And I think everyone who works in cybersecurity has experienced that. So when I say traditional application security, like a bit of that's a, on the vulnerability intelligence side. Like we all kind of agree, like CVSS base scores are just fundamentally a flawed way to prioritize vulnerabilities for remediation. But when you look at most organizations, that's how it's hard to believe this, but it's still how most organizations do this. And it's still how most compliance frameworks, which drive a lot of, you know, security activity and investment and, you know, allocation of resources pushes organizations to do this based on CVSS based severity scores. So we're seeing, you know, that's kind of the old way of doing it. We're seeing things like obviously now like CISA's no exploited vulnerability catalog, which again, isn't exhaustive. There's others. Uh, empirical security is someone I talked to recently who has an even bigger CAV catalog. There's um, other firms like that that are out there doing, you know, great work around known exploitation, other sources and so on. But then there's all insights around EPSS, like exploitation probability, which is something I know we've talked to quite a bit at Endor showing like in the next 30 days, how likely something is to be exploited. So teams are starting to integrate this like known exploitation, exploitation probability, reachability analysis, both at, at source code or runtime, you know, and or right, not necessarily you need one or the other over, over one another. So those kind of things. And then, you know, again, it, you know, when I say traditional AppSec, I mean, just how we've traditionally done this in a call cultural sense is like DevSecOps really just kind of equated to like, let's take the acronym soup of tools like SAS, DAS, you know, um, uh, SCA, infrastructure as code scanning, container scanning, et cetera. Like it's just dump this all in a pipeline, have it spit out a bunch of reports and then beat you know, developers over the head with it and tell them to fix all the, you know, criticals and highs before they can go to production. Um, so that's like the cultural angle of it. And it hasn't served security well at all. It's often created like situations where we're viewed as a blocker rather than an enabler, which we like to call ourselves, you know, that's a whole rant I, I could go on as well as like it's created situations where security uh, often people work around us rather than with us because they view us as just a friction point right and i think we've called it developer tax we've kind of talked about that in endor labs context too um, so those kind of approaches of just legacy tools that don't have a uh, rich context uh, either from known vulnerability intelligence or you know insights into your code and your runtime environment those kind of things as well as like just age-old methodologies of how we would approach vulnerability management so that's what i mean when i say that